Today's episode is yes, as the title suggests, this is going to be a filler episode. So by the time you're watching this, future Rofe, Rofe is probably working on some cool video that you guys will eventually enjoy. So this video is just going to be uh, more of just a compilation of my past videos before 2020 because I also did YouTube before 2020. Um, past videos that have some lessons that I think you guys would also benefit from. So enjoy! So he will explain VUL in one minute. That's my okay. challenge. Uh, VUL, it's a saving plan where you actually save regularly, like every month, every quarter. Then your money goes to a stock market fund where it's being invested there and your money is growing. And at the same time, while you're investing, you're actually protected. Your money is protected. You are protected through insurance, like insurance. So that's it. That's it. So people, get VUL soon. So, I watched my footage, my footage earlier. My face looks so awkward. Okay. Alright, so what is your take on our current economy? Guys, let's go. Um, ako ano, uh, ang glo sabi nga kanina sa in terms of global economy, uh, global economy is kind of slowing down now because of all of these things, of these risks that's happening. happening uh, which is, we expect because we've been kumbaga, very bullish for quite some time. Pero nga, in terms of the local economy sa Philippines, I'm very happy because they said na we're continuing our kumbaga, growth story of the Philippines and we expect more to come in terms of in terms of the business and economy here in the Philippines. And now, syempre may mga risks naman involved like, like the global trade, may mga iba ding mga pwedeng mangyari, di ba, the weakening of peso. But still, I'm very kumbaga, uh, excited about the outlook of the Philippines. So looking forward for more investments. Kulit ulit pa rin. So far, so good. Philippines is doing really well. Right. That's for, that's for Coach EJ. How about you, Coach Paul? Hi guys, I'm Paul. So, my key takeaway naman on no, the uh, recent uh, mid-year economic briefing and uh, capital markets outlook is uh, maybe focus more on the stock market in the Philippines because as far as what I understood earlier, the Philippines is still one of the emerging markets. I mean to say, it's one of the uh, fastest growing uh, stock markets here in Southeast Asia and Asia, which means to say a lot of investors are actually uh, attracted uh, to our uh, economic fundamentals as well as the businesses here in the Philippines. Do they? It's actually a drive for the foreign investors to invest more in the Philippines, to create more jobs, to increase the employment rate. So basically, overall, uh, the economy is great, of course, no? uh, for the remaining uh, second half of the year. And of course, with the stock market, naman, we are still on the uh, period of uh, correction and, and consolidation. So, mean to say, it's still cheap to buy stocks, no? in the simplest term. Mean to say, it's, we, I highly encourage you guys to add to your investments kung meron kayong existing. And if not, start your investments now. Because kung ipagpapabukas nyo pa, baka masyadong mahal yung market. Diba? So, take advantage while it's still on sale, guys. So, that's it. So, what's your take on the report? The Philippine economy is a good uh, a good investment opportunity for us to put our money into because you know, we're still emerging and at the same time the market is below the average which means it has nowhere to go but up. So, yeah, you can invest. Hey, let's go. They want tin. How about you, bro, Jason? Okay, you say one of the Okay, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is my girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's Koya that's Kuya Jason over there. My friend and I will be meeting a client to sell the client um these Ferrari of mine. <laughs> and the client will be here in around ten minutes. Ten so minutes, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock, yeah. So He'll be here by ten. Twenty, so. twenty minutes. So yeah, we're gonna hang out for a while. I'm going to be selling him these. We have 10 minutes left until the buyer arrives. So Yuan is just going to be playing Soul Knight. And I'm just going to watch him play. Hi, bro. What's that? 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 What's that?
Alright, so the meetup was successful. So that's actually good. So the, I already sold off the Lego Ferraris. So if any of you are looking for Lego Ninjago and Transformer Studio Series, I have those. Uh, the links to those will be in the description below. Check it out. And if you want those, I could help you with that. Does it make any sense? Yeah. I could help good you with luck, that. Good, good, good vlog. Good. Next day. Good morning. Welcome back to the video. I appreciate uh, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video. So right now I am in Tagaytay and I'm going to be playing B-roll of Tagaytay while I speak. So it's not going to be that boring. Yesterday, you one and I mentioned that this vlog is about cars. So I want to give you my opinion about cars. If you are a person that, let's say, makes a decent amount of income every month, but you only have one stream of income, which is your earned income to your job, and you are considering to buy a car, or maybe get a loan to be able to buy a car, personally, I wouldn't encourage that. I suggest that you invest your money in assets, good assets, that will bring you income every month. In doing so, you will be able to create more streams of income for yourself. So more streams of income would mean more money to invest and more money to give to the church and to charities. I just, I don't want you guys to be like most people who only rely on one source of income and still decide to put their money into things that do not bring them more income such as a car, um, new gadgets, alcohol, smoking, any kind of vices. You guys get my point. I'm telling you guys about these things because, simply because I care about you guys. That's it. That's the, that's the moral of this vlog. On to more, on to more fun stuff. Let's coach Paul over there. Hi. That's Coach Val. Our, Hello. He's our he's our boss basically, <laughs> and uh, no no one's still here. So I'll just be reading this for now, and I'll get back to you once people arrive. So what do you think is the most important trait a person must have when you're hiring them? Uh, if I'm going to hire somebody into my organization, uh, I want that person to be uh, open-minded to learning and growth. Uh, I want the person to be teachable because uh, it expands them as an individual. Uh, at the same time, whatever skills, whatever knowledge, whatever um, experience or expertise I want to develop or enhance in them. Sila mismo, they will be open to it. So, uh, merong good learning attitude. So that I'll be able to at least transfer what I need. I wanted to transfer to them in terms of uh, how they can be competent and confident also in the performance of their role or task in my organization. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this. So today, actually that's good. Today we will be talking about how teenagers should spend their money because, well, this is how I spend my money. So let us get right into it. I need to work on my intros. That's something I need to do. First and foremost is tithing. Tithing is very important because we are blessed to be a blessing. So yeah, that's it. That is why tithing is important. All right. The second thing is investing your money. Investing your money in stock market, mutual fund, or in any other way is very important because growing your, the more money you grow for yourself, the more money you will have in the future. Uh, and also the more money you have, the more you will be able to be of help to other people and to be a blessing to them. The third one is skill development. Developing high income skills is very important because it enables you to provide more value to the marketplace. And the more value you provide to the marketplace, the more, the more income you will be able to demand. On a second thought, I'm not sure if demand is the right word to use, but I hope you get my point. Alright, the fourth one is VUL. 
Now you might be asking, what is VUL about? Well, we do explain it in my first video, so go check that out after this video. Link to that will be in the description below. By the way, it's very sunny, so that is why my eyes are always like that. Yeah, you get my point. Alright, last but not the least are the following. Emergency fund and splurging fund. So the importance of an emergency fund is that you are prepared for unforeseen expenses. A good example with, of this would be when my tripod died, I think that was a month ago. When my tripod died, I had emergency fund to buy a new tripod. So that's the only example I could think of. For the splurging fund, it's more of your fun fund. Ah, fun. Your fun. Oh my god, like your fun fun. So what happens is that you spend five percent of your income. You could have fun with that. You could buy a phone or whatever you want, as long as it's five percent of your total income. So that is it. I hope you guys learned something. I'm shaking because I'm on top of a whatever those are, and I'm afraid of falling. So, I am selling my Lego Ninjago toys because I no longer need them. I was in the 5th grade when I had them and I'm already way too old to keep them so that is why I am selling them. So, the reason why I am sharing this to you guys is because you guys could actually be a part of this. So, the mechanics are very simple. Uh, if you happen to know anyone who is interested in Lego Ninjago, Hit them up, tell them about uh, the Lego Ninjago sets that I'm selling, and then you sell it to them. If they are interested in buying, oh, by the way, the links to the to the Lego Ninjago sets that I am selling are in the description below. So go check those out. Maybe you happen to know anyone who is interested to buy. The reason why I suggest you guys actually take this seriously is because I am paying uh, whoever gets to sell all of these or. At least, um, let's say at least you get to sell at least just one. You get paid, basically. So the point is, just sell and I will pay you. I promise you that. Fact number two is to always have a plan B. So what I mean by having a plan B is maybe that would mean always having a book with you or something else that you could do just in case things don't go your way. So you are always on the go and you have no excuse not to be productive. Before we move on to the third point, I would like to invite all of you guys to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Let us follow each other and support each other in this world of chaos. Third hack is using the 25-5. You spend 25 minutes of your time doing something intensely. And after 25 minutes, you rest for 5 minutes and then repeat. Anyway, that is all of it. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Peace out.